sinners, whether you're new or you've been around for a while. And I really like the like this uh, phrase there, don't forget the low-hanging fruit, right? Well, I'm going to talk about how you can create that low-hanging fruit. Okay? And it's really through this particular niche, communications. Now, at Asian Inc., and we've been an operator, we've been, in, uh, been around for a while, we've seen results, and we've also understood that people don't always know what's being done, what's happening out there. So we develop a digital library, we develop uh, two kits, chat boxes, in language, culturally nuanced materials, but very importantly, we develop video. We do our own videos. We do it in-house because when we see an opportunity, when we really understand that that's the type of message that needs to be stated, we go out there and we do it. Yeah. So in essence, you need to have an operator who would also say, also share that view, because it's so important to have that type of support. And so what we have then understood is that videos are like a multiplier. People see the videos, they then want to come to your workshop. Or people see it, or lenders see it, and then they say they want to be part of what you're doing on that. Because they understand the value. And particularly these generations, millennial, visual is highly important in there. And and I would say then that uh, certainly the video, the videos, I watch, run the video. Yeah. Yeah. My name is Richard Camacho. I'm the president of GEMS Environmental Management Services. We're a general engineering contractor. Uh, we do engineering, construction, and environmental uh, related work. Uh, we're a licensed A contractor in the state of California. Uh, I'm, I'm Chamorro, I'm Guamanian, uh, essentially being born in the island of Guam. Uh, my parents, uh, 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 their combined education probably didn't exceed the sixth grade level in today's standards, uh, but they instilled a lot of core uh, uh, principles in me that helped me to do a lot of things that I'm doing currently. Uh, but the core principles that they've uh, instilled in me is I'm honesty, integrity, and respect. Uh, we've taken those core principles and applied it here at the business, and we've kind of added a few things to that, being uh, quality, um, safety, and uh, family. We currently have uh, 14 full-time employees. We've got a construction manager, project manager, office manager. Uh, we've got three administrative folks. We've got uh, three technical uh, uh, support individuals out in the field that do equipment operating and all those kinds of things, and, and then the rest are laborers. Uh, MBDA uh, crossed my path uh, when I was at a uh, conference down in San Jose. Raymond Al Young and uh, a consultant came out to my office, uh, reassured me that there was some added value that uh, MBDA could provide for us. In terms of uh, finance, uh, uh, we had a, uh, a, a credit line that was increased by uh, 100% with the assistance of Raymond Ayo. Uh, for the business development and marketing, um, uh, Sue Yi has put us in touch with a marketing business developed uh, person, and uh, that person has opened the door for us to do business with GSA. Uh, Paula has uh, invited us to B2B uh, meetings where we've had a face to face with uh, uh, general contractors such as uh, Panca. Uh, yeah, it seems like that, uh, how do you say, they have a, uh, an umbilical cord, if you will, that ties not just San Francisco to Fresno, but I think it's the other offices they have that uh, uh, they share information locally. They stay very close in terms of what we have going on, and if there's an opportunity, they're, they're the first ones to send us an email or, you know, uh, uh, a message or a text saying, hey, you, you might want to call this company or you might want to go to this conference or you might want to go to this workshop and here's some of the people who may be there that we uh, might be able to help your team with and, and, and help with your business. From the time we first initially met with MBDA, uh, our, our gross sales has increased probably 50%. Uh, we're on a, how do you say, we have momentum where if uh, uh, the set production that you succeeded created for us, uh, if this project comes in, that'll increase our, our, our gross sales by at least a million dollars. Uh, and we're pretty confident that's going to happen. Become a client of MBDA, we've probably increased, uh, we've added one probably to employees. And that'll probably increase the 
from my perspective, uh, MBDA is an asset not just for gems as a small business, but every small business that's out there. Um, all their, uh, all the people that I've interfaced with have been, uh, how do you say, they've gone beyond um, what's required, I, I think. Uh, they've done the extra effort, I guess is what I'm trying to say, in trying to help us get to that next level. Uh, they continue to help us, and uh, uh, they're a tremendous asset. Uh, the best thing for all small businesses to understand is that they're, at, uh, uh, they're available to us at, 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 at no cost. So it's, uh, it's something I would recommend uh, that uh, uh, every small business uh, get in touch with their local MBDA. And uh, I strongly recommend the MBDA out of San Jose. So I'm some folks in there. So was there a great video you know, about MBDA, its value out there in the community? And certainly it speaks to the fact that you all have untold stories that need to be told. And that would be so very important because it would help, it would help really expand the impact, really expand the, the reach of MBDA uh, everywhere in the United States. But also remember, distribution is very important because you have a video, it's got to be distributed, right? So where do you go? You go on your website, you go on YouTube, you go on other uh, venues, and it works. Believe me, folks, it works. So thank you very much.